he avoided the part I wasn't involved in the liberation. All right, so this one's a little bit harder. We started off easy. Why do you think she says, I wasn't involved in the liberation, but as a member of AAR, I understand completely why the action was taken. If she wasn't involved, then why does she have to say that she wasn't involved? Authors always put things in for a purpose. So don't just skip over it and just think, oh, okay, that's great. There's a reason for it. Now, if you struggle and you don't know why, think about it in a real life scenario. If it was you, right, and you supported the animal rights liberation and you wanted to tell people that you supported it, but you said, oh, but wait, 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 like, don't, don't, don't stress. Like, I wasn't part of it. Like, don't think that I was a part of it. Uh, but I'm, I still think that's a great thing that it happened. What are you doing there? You're distancing yourself away from these activists, right? This is exactly what the author is doing. By distancing herself away from the activists, she's saying, hey, look, I'm not crazy. I'm not over the top because activists can sometimes be seen as a little bit extreme, right? So not everyone is going to support an activist. But by her saying that she wasn't actually there, but she still understands why it was taken, it reinforces our image of her as somebody who is reasonable, who is logical, but definitely not over the top, okay? So what I've done here is I've called it dissociation, which is a really nice, big, fancy vocab word, okay? And I hope you take this on board as one of the new language techniques that you've learned from this course. But basically, dissociation is the opposite of association. Association is when you, you know, associate yourself with somebody. So you're connecting yourself with somebody, whereas dissociation is the opposite. And you're still more than welcome to say she distances herself. There's nothing wrong with that. The fact that you identified this section as something that has a technique that's worthy of your time to talk about is already an amazing step, okay? So, but I've called it dissociation and I've quoted the evidence and here is my effect. She distances herself away from activists who may be seen as extreme or over the top in order to further establish herself as someone who's rational and, and sensible. Great. So if I wanted to put it in one coherent sentence, by dissociating herself from the activists, I wasn't involved in the liberation. Smith purposely distances herself away from the activists who may be seen as extreme or over the top in order to further establish herself as someone who is rational and sensible and yet still understands completely why the action was taken. Okay, so I hope that makes sense. It should be quite straightforward. And like I was saying, things are always very simple, but then because they're simple, you're able to then start to develop your vocab, make it interesting, throw words like dissociation in there, 